Good morning from Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station Flight Control Room. At this hour, the 43-foot-long, 22-and-a-half-ton Nauka multipurpose laboratory module is on course and headed for its final approach for its docking to the International Outpost's Russian segment eight days after its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Nauka is scheduled to dock to the Earth-facing port of the Zvezda service module at 8.25 a.m. Central Time, 9.25 a.m. Eastern Time, completing a long journey to the station over the past eight days, a long journey enabling Russian flight controllers to perform thorough checks of the new module's propulsion and navigation systems, as well as overseeing the undocking of the pier's docking compartment this past Monday that cleared the docking port for Nyoka's arrival. We'll talk about the chronology of the last week's events in just a moment. Copy. And now from uh, an external camera on the uh, Nyoka Multipurpose Laboratory module, a good view of the International Space Station. This coming uh, through uh, external cameras on the new laboratory. And you can see in the lower left-hand corner the uh, distance that Nyoka is from the International Space Station, just under 10 kilometers, and the rate of closure at 5.8 uh, meters per second. That rate of closure will slow to a glacial one-tenth of a meter per second right before contact and capture with the docking port on the Earth-facing side of the Zvezda service module. clockwise, indicators not. There's our first view of the uh, multipurpose laboratory module from external cameras on the International Space Station. Now proceeding to translational hand controller test, copy up. Only the indicators on the sides are eliminated. Down, indicators on the sides only are eliminated. And looking at the ruler, the range rate is minus 0 0.1. The resource is 5 to 7, and we're almost one square to the top of the center of the target. We copy. The multipurpose laboratory module, 43 feet long, 22 and a half tons of mass flying over southern Russia. Range. 27 meters away. Oleg. Oleg. Let's switch to the Toro mode. Copy. We are sending Peru BPS initial. Stand by, Oleg. And for the final few meters, uh, Oleg Novitsky taking over manual control of the flying of Nyoka. Initial command range is about 10 meters. Copy. Range rate is minus 0 0.08. The crosshairs are aligned. The misalignment is unintelligible. We copy. Standing by for contact and capture. We are losing the image. The range is three meters. Copy. Range rate is minus 0 0.1. The target is in the center. The crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Range. It's 0 0.1. We're standing by for contact. And once you get the contact, and um, the, please deactivate. Once you confirm contact, please deactivate PUBPS. Copy. Contact and capture. Docking confirmed. 
at 8.29 a.m. Central Time. Nyoka has been a long time coming, but has now pulled into port at the International Space Station. Congratulations. That was not an easy docking. We have deactivated the manual control mode. Copy. Oleg. Retract. Docking occurring again at 8.29 a.m. Central Time, 9.29 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station and NIOCA flew 260 miles over the border between Mongolia and China.